Okay, hello everybody. So with me, you know, you are just 10 minutes away from lunch. And my topic today is uh, strategic venturing in industry for zero. At least uh, what the agenda is saying. But sorry, Jan, I had to change that to 4.1 because I'm speaking here about technology venturing, strategic venturing, and that's something where I'm looking for the next technology, the next and over next technology, and not just what's ongoing now. Yes, in ABP, of course, we are in the middle of this revolution. We are in the energy revolution, what you call here the Energiewende in Germany. We are in the industrial revolution. So there's a lot of changes ongoing where we are already active, where we are already making development. And uh, that will change your lives. And it will change our company as well. And uh, on these changes, of course, there are technologies which are in development and where we think we really don't know exactly how that will influence our business and what it will mean for us in future. And that's the areas where we are interested in investing. That can be artificial intelligence and all these applications. Uh, that can be 5G. We don't know exactly what does it mean with addi additive manufacturing. How will that change the manufacturing process in future? We are in robotics, as you know. Uh, will that mean that there is not really a difference in future between a robot and a, and, and a 3D printer? That will be one uh, technology? Maybe. And uh, all these technologies, and even if it's quantum computing in the far future, if it's uh, in 10 years, is it in 10, 20 years? We don't know when this will be available that we can use it in industry. But one thing is very clear. These technologies, we cannot develop ourselves, we need partners. And uh, this is in development at startups already. And startups are much, much faster than we, and, they, uh, and we are much more risk averse, of course. So that means very clearly we have to cooperate with startups there, we have to learn together, and, and that's the area we are interested in investing. And I think it's important to understand what does it mean corporate venturing uh, on the strategic side. Yes, of course, we are uh, financially interested as well. But this picture should show you on the, uh, right, uh, on the uh, x-axis, you have the time axis. And uh, on the vertical, you have something like innovativeness, so a game changer potential, or, or name it what, what you like. But it's this innovativeness. I think you understand what I mean. And this uh, very big arrow here shows in which direction we want to go. We have a vision, we have a strategy, we want to go there, we want to keep that we are pioneers in so many areas. And so we can go a certain angle there. And the angle gives you the risk potential, as steeper as higher the risk. And we as a big company, of course, can go only in yeah, a certain angle, we are anyhow too slow, we are, we are big, we, can, we are risk averse. So we can take a certain angle on the, this big arrow, what you see, and we can fill gaps there with acquisitions. We can do partnerships, we can do our own R&D, but technology venturing is not business development. And this is when we go in direction to our strategy, that's business development. What we are doing and, and where we are interested, and that's the, the important point, I think, is going beyond that, going much, much steeper, going uh, outside our strategy, going outside that area and, and and look what's going on there. What can be maybe our business in future? What could influence our business? So exploring that, experimenting with startups together, that's exactly where we are interested in and where we are looking for new technologies where we think, okay, that could maybe influence our business. And that's where we are looking. So if you have a technology where you say, wow, that fits very well to, to your company today, yes, please... Uh, uh, go to our business units, contact our businesses, contact our M&A. But if you have something where you think that it's outside your area today, but that could fit to your business, then come to me. And then we, we uh, may cooperate, I invest, and so on. And how we are doing that, it's a, a, a tool set. So I think it's very important as well for corporate, uh, and not only for corporates, I think for venture capital as well, that you are working in a whole ecosystem. So what we are doing, for example, is we do technology scouting, looking around. These conferences are very good when we discuss together to develop a serendipity on, on, on technologies, to, to get a feeling what could be the next thing, what's interesting for us. 
And then, of course, we are going to conferences, we are working together with VCs, we are doing direct investments, we are investing in funds. But what's important as well as we do sector studies. We look to different sectors. For example, we, we think what could be interesting in a full automated mine in future, or what does it mean for smart cities when we do environmental sensing, or those kind of studies we are doing as well, together with our research guys and with our uh, business uh, people, and even sometimes uh, even with, with external. And there we are studying where should we develop a vision, in which direction, together with our R&D people, and what we have uh, established as well is startup engagement managers in research centers, for example, and we are doing that now in, in the business sites as well, where people are working 20% for us to engage with startups. But what we are not doing is M&A, for example. That's done by the M&A people. And this slide should show you what we are uh, doing. Of course, we are doing investments. Our portfolio today uh, is about 80 million US dollars. We see about 2,000 deals per year. We do six to eight investments per year. So, yes, these are the figures, and we are quite positive with what we are doing. But that's not the most important. The most important is what you see on the right side of this slide, and that's engaging with startups. So, yes, making investments, working together, engaging with them. And then we have something, this is called Synolib. Uh, yesterday we uh, heard shortly about that from Marlin. And uh, that's a crazy concept how we started that. We said, okay, startups come to us to the research center, sit in the middle of our research center and work together with our people. It's crazy, yeah? we, we, have, uh, we protect everything, everything is very confidential what we do in the research, and then we invite startups and say, sit there, speak at the coffee machine with our people. So that, that's a, a concept, it's not an accelerator, it's not an incubator, it's a matchmaker. And this concept is very successful and we extended it now, and, and we are, have, as we heard yesterday, more than 50 startups already in that matchmaking process which is a kind of a concierge service for startups to find the right people for the right corporation. And we have already uh, one investment in, in one of these companies and we are just in a due diligence for a second one. And then we have this a AI accelerator exercise and um, that was something where we invited startups to pitch in front of our business guys and um, our business guys selected seven startups out of that and then was four months exercise where they did a, a project together with our businesses. And it's, it's coincidence, exactly today there will be the final pitch here in Berlin. And if you're interested, just come to me. I can give you access to the uh, uh, event, which is very close from here, just 20 minutes. And it starts at 4 o'clock. So a little bit of an overlap with you uh, here, but it's not too much. It will anyhow take till 10 o'clock in the evening. So if you're interested, let me know. And then we have this kind of competitions where we ask startups as well. And my last slide will show you the technology areas. Yes, for ABP, of course, we are interested in what's the future in smart cities? What's the future for buildings? How can we automate that? Now, automating for us means even the next step, making it autonomous, reacting on something what's not programmed in, in before. So that's really aut automated, autonomous, working on the most optimal point. So smart cities, buildings, homes, but in the industry as well. There are which technologies will have an influence here. That's where we're interested. So in industries, in the transportation, so from electric car charging up to all kinds of electric charging, what you need in the transportation. And that means what we have seen yesterday, for example, like a volocopter or Lilium as well, where we say, okay, electric aviation is interesting for us all those kinds, and that goes up to uh, automating chemical plants, automating a mine. Think about a coal mine, for example. If it's completely full automated, then not any longer people have to die in coal mines, which are very dangerous anyhow. And it's a lot of energy saving if you don't need this uh, air conditioning inside, and so on. So, and for all these kinds of automating everything, we need technologies, and that starts with sensors, that's then bringing the information from the different sensors to the edge, edge technologies, pre-processing with artificial intelligence, cloud technologies where we analyze data. All this kind is interesting for us, and that goes as far as blockchain technologies, which could influence us as well, of course, in our business. And that can go 
And of course, at software mainly, it includes cybersecurity, goes up to AR and VR. That's just roughly what is our technology, and I see it's exactly 10 minutes. And I wish you a nice lunch now, and I think you will release us now to lunch, huh, Jan? Yeah. <laughs>